Hi everyone, this is Victor. We released CAI not that long ago, back in April, and we are already releasing version 0.5. Let's see what's in it. So first off, we have introduced new agents and new patterns. You can check them out with agent list, and we can see that there is a bunch of new agents that specialize on various cybersecurity aspects, and also new parallel agents. These are agents that use various parallel instances that can accomplish more in less time. We can control these capabilities with a parallel command, and when selected one, such as for example, agent select 20, we can see the parallel configuration via this way. We can add additional agents, we can edit them, and so on and so forth. Now, another aspect that's of interest is the history no command. History now shows how many commands, sorry, how many messages we currently have in context, spread across user messages, assistant messages, tool messages, messages, and more. Um, moreover, we can visualize this graphically using the graph command, which gives us a short visualization of each one of the agents that uh, we have currently enabled in our pattern. And if we want to take a look at particularly one of the agents, we can do slash graph p1, for example. And now we see the whole graph of this particular agent within the parallel pattern. Pretty cool, right? There's more, though. We have something uh, exciting, which we call compact. With compact, you can grab your whole context and compact it so that it doesn't occupy as much. And you can continue with your exercise without compromise. So we can just do compact and that directly, boom, just gets everything uh, cleared up. Moreover, we can also uh, use and play around with memory. Memory uh, allows us to save some of the previously compacted sessions and further extend um, our existing context with additional uh, files uh, that are relevant for our current exercise. By 2028, most cybersecurity operations will be autonomous, with humans still operating. As Lydia just said, we have been building case studies to demonstrate what's coming up. Now let's see right now one of such case studies of what is possible today with CAI. Heat pumps are used across Europe to warm up or cool down spaces, including houses, factories, and other types of buildings. CAI helped discover a critical vulnerability in EcoForest's infrastructure and heat pumps, which allows an authorized remote access and potentially causing catastrophic failures, including an explosion if over pressure. The vulnerability or vulnerabilities, I should say, um, consist of, first off, a weak, um, not recommended encryption mechanism, which should have been updated. Second off, there were a series of files exposed in each one of the heat pump endpoints, which included encrypted credentials which could be broken and reversed with modern technology. And finally, we found a way to escalate privileges and move from the default user to the installer user, uh, which then allowed to overpressure these devices remotely. The vulnerabilities have been disclosed responsibly to the corresponding manufacturer with no response whatsoever, as it's commonly the case, unfortunately, with many companies. The worst case about it is that this exercise was found by CAI in only uh, 23 minutes and for a very, very low cost. The information is now in the hands of authorities, and if you happen to have one of these devices, we definitely encourage you to disconnect it and stay tuned for updates concerning uh, what the manufacturer may actually do, pushed by the authorities. Thank you so much.